morning, ESM. I am Chris. And I'm Owen. Today we're talking about uh, different things from our pastimes. Ah, uh, yes. Our childhoods. Yes, 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 yes. More than that after news and announcements. Former Lakers basketball player Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna were killed in a helicopter crash on Sunday. They were traveling over Calabasas, California, when the, when the helicopter crashed and went up in flames, killing them and seven other people on the helicopter. This is a terrible tragedy that will affect people and the game of basketball for many years. Supporting his family and those that care about him and his daughter is critical in this time. 80, oh. <laughs> 81 people are dead to the, due to the coronavirus in China. More than 2,500 people have been affected in 11 different countries, including the U.S. The World Health Organization has not declared this as a global emergency because it is still too early. The disease, which was passed from animals to humans, causes flu-like symptoms and can be transmitted before symptoms even appear. In people with weak immune systems, the virus causes pneumonia. Elderly survivors of the Auschwitz Birkenau death camp from the United States, Israel, Australia, South America, Russia, Slovenia, and elsewhere gathered today to mark 75 years since its liberation. They will be among presidents, prime ministers, and royalty from across the globe who will join the ceremony in, the south, in south, southern Poland, which was under Nazi occupation during World War II. The event will recollect the moment Auschwitz was liberated by the Soviet army on January 27, 1945. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Girls Lacrosse Player Interest Meeting Wednesday, January 29th in Coach's s Bockers Classroom, B23 at 3.25 p.m. Quick 10-minute meeting. The Madden 20 Touchdown Tournament begins tomorrow after school in the library. Gaming participants need to check in with Mrs. Ms. McPeak and Mrs. Reyna immediately after fourth block. Failure to do so will forfeit your spot in the tournament. The rate room will be closed at 5.30 today. Please plan accordingly and have your ride on time. See Coach Eschbacher with questions. So because we're, we're trying to get people to actually watch the show, we're going to do a show on nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, most of you won't be able to relate to any of this, but we're still going to try. I think one of the coolest things we had when we were, what we had, were the rainbow loom band things. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. They were just like these little circles, and you needed them together. Uh, well, and made big bracelets. I don't know. I like them. They're honestly. Funny. I think uh, silly bands were the best. A lot of people relate to that. Uh, of and I don't, I don't think I need to explain, because a lot of people know about it. Here's a picture, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, as a kid, one of our biggest things was TV. Oh, uh, TV. Oh, pff. I watched a lot of Gravity Falls. I don't, I don't know why, but like Gravity Falls is my favorite thing ever. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Personally, mine was, uh, of course, the classic Scooby Doo. Ah. Uh, very, very good show. Ooh. Old. <laughs> very old. <laughs> it was one yeah. of the best. Yeah. Now, now underwater, I guess. Yeah. Today we'll have a high of snow, have snow and a high of 36. Tomorrow we'll cool down to 31 and ha also have snow. Wednesday and Thursday we'll both have highs of 27 with sun. Friday's going to warm up to 33 and over the weekend there will be some hints of snow with highs in the mid 30s. I'm Emily with your weather. There are another big thing in our childhoods, things that took up our time, were video games. Yes, video games. Kicking it off, we're going to talk about the, the greatest gaming platform ever thought of, Cool Math Games. Cool Math Games was great for so many different reasons. It really like helped us, our childhood for some reason. Uh, my yeah. favorite, personally, was just the name. Like in middle school, mm -hmm. if a teacher walked past and saw Cool Math Games, they'd actually they, think they I might they be doing work on something yeah, they, important. Yeah, they wouldn't say anything. I can definitely agree with that. Um, 
Uh, another one that I really liked uh, was a club like like Club Penguin. Yeah, classic, yeah. Classic. Uh, Angry Birds uh, and every every single Wii game. I don't know what the Wii was such a classic. It was it, it was it a so classic great. console. Uh, we really did just have so many great games at the time, yeah. and it, just a lot to help us distract us. And yeah. now, I mean, on to sports. Yeah. ESM boys basketball moved to 12 and 2 over the weekend, crushing Auburn 65 to 33. Nick Peterson paced the team with 22 points. Senior Andrew Crone received the 2020 CNY chapter of the National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Award this weekend. Congratulations, Andrew. Syracuse basketball beat Pitt over the weekend 69 to 63. Buddy Beheim led the team with 21 points. With this win, Syracuse has won four games in a row and is now 13 and 7. Kobe Bryant is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players to ever play. He leads the Lakers in all-time points, steals, three-pointers, and games, and is now ranked fourth in all-time NBA points scored. Many teams around the league have paid homage to him through retiring his jersey or through using social media. At the beginning of a few NBA games yesterday, the teams let the initial shot clock run out to recognize the number 24. I'm David with your sports. Uh, well, I hope all of you who watch this will be reminded of your childhoods, you know? But sadly, that is all the time that we have today. Mm -hmm. So from me, Chris, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a fantastic day. Rip Kobe. Yeah. Rip Kobe. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs>